Okay, so the story goes, I just finished running four miles and now I'm about a bike, about 20 miles. But the first stop uh, is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna try to go grab a helmet from REI. Got to protect the head. Let's go. Hi, yeah, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Where would I find a helmet and how do I get sized for it? Uh, like a cycling helmet? Yes. Yeah. Right here. I would try a couple on and I can help you and show you what kind of entails of being a fitted helmet. Um, are you looking for one with a visor or one without a visor? Uh, probably a visor. Visor? Okay. Yeah. So we have a different, couple different brands. Smith is a really good starting point. It's a really good all across the board brand. They give you nips, which is the safety feature. And then we do have Trek and Bond Traeger, which is also another good brand. The, they own each other. The one good thing about Trek and Bond Traeger, they do have a cross replacement guarantee. So if God forbid you do get into an accident and they will replace your helmet for free, which is really cool. They do use a different type of safety feature. So instead of bits, they use wave cell technology. It's the yeah. same, but different. It's the same, but different. I like that. Um, these ones are a little bit more of like casual riding and then kids. And then on the end cap is going to be the thousand helmets, which are also more of like a casual riding. Um, they don't have really good ventilation, so they're more like right around the neighborhood type of riding. Um, if okay. you're doing more commuting, then I would recommend some more ventilation. So that's usually why I usually tend to steer people towards these couple brands right uh, here. I'm, I'm trying to ride the MS150. Yeah. So one of these would probably work, oh, I for guess. Oh, sure. Definitely. And the one good thing about the visor is if you end up not wanting it or what for whatever reason, you can pop them off too, so they're easily removable. Um, and then from there, so these don't have visors, so you pretty much have these two. Yeah. They're pretty much you go down to looks. These have a little bit more ventilation, uh, but they are going to be glossy. This one's not going to have as much, but it still has a good amount and it's going to be matte. So yeah. it really comes down to personal preference. Okay. How would I size it? You just grab one and put it on. Oh, okay. I can show you how. I don't know if they have like a specific one. So there is the dial in the back, so that'll obviously adjust to your head. Yeah. That little dial, you want it to fit in that divot at the base of your skull. And you want there to be no movement. Obviously, you don't want it to be too tight where it's uncomfortable, but you yeah. don't want the helmet riding around. And the straps, you want them to go perfectly around your ears, which they are. You don't okay. want them to cover your ears or go too below your jaw. And then you want to make sure that the middle or the visor of the helmet's in the middle of the forehead. So this fits about right? Yeah, that looks actually really good right off the bat. I'll take it. Okay, were you a member with us? Uh, yes. The members right now do have a coupon if you haven't used it yet. You can utilize it on the helmet too. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get 
like black. Yeah. Perfect. Anything else you're looking for? Uh, no, that's all. Thank okay. you. Perfect. Yeah, sure. for sure. Before I get started on my next leg of this ride, I just want to, one, show you this weird ass view, I don't know, it's a bayou in some garage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I also want to say that pedaling against this wind, it's no joke. Shit sucks. Why did I choose the windiest day to go riding a bike after running? Shit stupid. Oh shit, I'm mountain biking. I'm mountain biking. Scoot, scoot. Oh, that sucks. Ugh. The mountain biking wasn't fun. I just got, I, I got fucking sober. dirt and mud just for trying to fucking mountain bike because that damn fucking trail disappeared but now 
now, now I'm back on concrete. That goddamn dirt got me.